Have you ever wondered if your ancestors were indeed black Africans? It is a question being asked by many since several Aboriginal Niji have took to various platforms to express their views on our origins. Here I have made this short video in order to define two words that are of the utmost value and necessity for any who seek truth instead of fiction. Before I expound on the two key words, I would like to state that during the time of colonization, Lization, there were two different groups of people in America being persecuted. One were the dark-skinned natives of America and the other were the black-skinned natives of Africa who were brought to these shores by colonists. Before going on, I must say that dark-skinned people inhabited every landmass on this plain that we call Earth. But I must also state that they are not all one African race. There are many different people defined by the Gia graphical locations and native customs, nationality, and languages. The first term or definition that must be gone over is American. When most people hear the term American, it is not usually a vision of copper-colored people who would in modern times be called blacks or Africans. But in all actuality, the natives are described by early explorers and co colonists as just that. America, the land of the free, is a term heard often, but not a new term in the sense of America. It was and still is the land of the free that was conquered by European colonists. The name given to the colonists or conquerors is white, and the name for the conquered is black. Two aliases used to hide the fact that so-called whites are in fact European refugees and immigrants, and the fact that the so-called black ex-slave is actually the true heirs and native aboriginal Niji of this land. A third element was brought in, the so-called African slaves who they said were brought over by the millions. But is that really fact or is it fiction? The second term that must be reviewed is Negro. Why Negro, some might ask. Negro was a term used by Europeans primarily to describe the black natives of Africa whose border is and was connected to the European border. The Africans of Africa were known to Europeans way before America was ever even on their radar. It is a term that was used specifically to describe the people of Africa. Europeans acquired native, native African children by the dozens and kept them as marvels or servants in their homes, and they referred to them as Negroes. The term Negro is old and was used before slavery or even the colonization of America or Turtle Island as it is known by the natives. It is not a term that was used for the natives of America. The term used for natives on the soil called North America and South America were Indian, Indian being a derivative of Niji through misinterpretation of the word. In conclusion, after a short look into the two words American and Negro, we see that there is a nation within a nation right here in America. In part two, I will elaborate more on this subject as I search deeper into this anomaly. The various misnomers and slave titles can't continue to be used for a nation of free people who are indigenous to this said land. Through the use of fake educational systems and fake news channels and false flag media outlets, the propagandist lies of the transatlantic slave trade has been nationalized and made into truthhood, which can no longer go on, on in these days America, and times when all truth must conquer the false. That you know Thanks for watching. Part two will be released shortly. This is our land. You are Aboriginal, Indigenous American.